The Morobi Mining Joint Ventures is a collective of three separate joint ventures of equal ownership between Harmony Gold Mining Company of South Africa and Newcrest Mining Limited of Australia. The joint ventures seek to explore, develop and mine gold and copper deposits in the Morobi province of Papua New Guinea. Hidden Valley is the first mine to be developed by the joint ventures. The mine was officially opened in September 2010 and is now a successful open pit operation located in the mountains some 120 kilometers south of Leh. The operation comprises a large open pit mining two loads at Hidden Valley and another open pit at Hamata. Hamata is also the site for the processing plant which produces gold and silver doré bars. Tailings are captured in an engineered tailing storage facility nearby. The learnings from building and operating Hidden Valley are invaluable in the development of Wafi Golpu. Wafi is located approximately 80 kilometers southwest of the major city of Leh. The deposit was discovered in 1979 and numerous companies have worked the leases for decades. Today, Wafi has an established road network and a 150-man camp to facilitate on-ground activities. Geologically, Wafi Golpu is a multiple phases porphyry, copper gold and epithermal gold system. The Wafi Gold loads, A zone and B zone, are localized around the margins of a diatreme breccia pipe. The Golpu copper gold deposit is the largest load discovered at Wafi so far. It comprises a number of discrete porphyries, each with slightly different grades and geological and metallurgical characteristics. Drilling to the north and at depth has recently increased the joint venture's understanding of the size of this porphyry. Together with the mineralized metasediment host rock, a very large, robust, cylindrical-shaped ore body has been defined. The spectacular drill results of 2010 and 2011 now inform a resource at Golpu of 19.3 million ounces of gold and 9 million tons of copper. Today, the Wafi Golpu system, which includes the Wafi Loads and Nambonga, contain 1 billion tons of resource for 26.6 million ounces of gold and 9 million tons of copper. Studies are underway to test mining and processing options for Wafi and Golpu. The Wafi loads lend themselves to open pits or underground mining, while Golpu is suited to underground block caving. The current proposal is to utilize the flats of the Watut Valley to provide access to the ore body via twin declines. The decline tunnels will be four kilometers long and it will take between four to five years to reach the ore. Once there, the block cave will be developed. Block caving is simple in concept, but this mining method involves significant development. The block caving process uses gravity combined with internal rock stresses to fracture and break the rock mass, which can then be extracted from the mine. First, development drives a mine through the ore body. This allows access for drilling and blasting to create a void inside the ore body, known as an undercut. Excess ore is removed using loaders, and the undercut is developed until it reaches the outside of the ore body. The creation of the undercut destabilizes the overlaying rock, inducing it to cave. Simultaneously, some 20 or more meters underneath the undercut level, more tunnels are developed called the extraction level. From this level, draw cones, like hoppers in a grain silo, are developed to draw the ore down from above. Loaders remove the ore from these draw points in a controlled manner whilst the rock above continues to cave as the ore body is extracted. Simple in concept, 
but when we consider the size of the ore body in three dimensions, it takes on a much larger scope. The footprint of Golpu is some 600 meters long by 350 meters wide and is still growing. To develop the undercut at extraction levels, multiple drives must be developed. The spacing of the drives will be dependent on extensive geotechnical study, but would likely be around 24 meters apart. In this configuration, there is some 30 kilometers of tunneling in the first level alone, which would require a large fleet of drills, loaders and other equipment to develop the mine. A full cave level takes years to develop, but once complete, the mine will produce large amounts of ore. Sophisticated material handling systems would be needed, and in this case, loaders will take the ore to underground crushing stations, where the rock is further reduced in size so it can be transported by conveyor four kilometers to the surface. Once on surface, the ore will be transported to a conventional copper concentrator and gold plant. The flats of the Watut and Markham rivers provide many locations where it's possible to locate infrastructure. This is being considered under the current study. Major transport infrastructure and services will come from the nearby port city of Leh. Wafi Golpu has the huge advantage of being in close proximity to Leh, which is the second largest city in PNG. This growing city will provide many facilities, including a deep water port and Nadzab airport. The joint ventures have already established an administration and accommodation complex at Nine Mile, and this is likely to expand as Wafi Golpu progresses. Wafi Golpu is a world-class discovery with some of the highest copper and gold grades for this style of deposit. The Morobi Mining Joint Ventures is an experienced local operator. It's already established in the Morobi province with the Hidden Valley Mine, giving it the ability to streamline the development of Wafi Golpu. Wafi Golpu is set to become the next world-class mine in Papua New Guinea, offering far-reaching benefits to all stakeholders for many years to come.